Around 45 minutes drive out of Esperance lies a beach that you may well think is perfection itself. Although with a bitumen strip to the door, as opposed to my preference of red dirt, well, it's not exactly perfect. Thankfully, you can escape the bitumen and drive straight onto some of the purest, whitest sands in Australia. Welcome, my friends, to Lucky Bay, Western Australia. It is possible to camp here, but you'll have to book well in advance for that privilege. There's not a lot of shade out here, so we flipped out the Bushwhacker 180 and 270 degree awnings, tucked into the angle and prepared for a fresh seaside feast. And with water like this, who could resist getting wet? So after that nice freshen up, I still had another incredible destination for the boys, which incidentally isn't a hard thing to do over here in the West. They're bloody everywhere. So Pat, where have you brought us this time? Well mate, I thought this journey needed a little cherry on top. Not that we haven't seen some pretty awesome places, but uh, this one is nice and close to Esperance, but it is a little bit spectacular. Um, we're going to start in the Mullet Lake Nature Reserve and then we're going to head to somewhere that has one of the best views, I think, from a four-wheel drive track in Western Australia. Wow, you keep on bringing to these awesome places. Sounds great. Considering these destinations have only got better and better everywhere we go, I am beyond keen to see where we are going to end up. Well, I hope I don't let you down, but um, by the looks of this gorgeous white sand in front of us, I don't think there's any chance of that. see everywhere from here can't you all the way around the bay beautiful and what a great place to get your beginners legs in terms of sand driving hey you know it's nice it's a little bit challenging but it's not it's not overwhelming like Bill Bunyan would be having said that <laughs> there's a ripping drop off here oh this is good Uh, Pat, I swear that big rock over on our right has tracks going up it. Oh, uh, mate, uh, we may be heading there later. You may be correct. And what is that big rock, Pat? What's it called? Uh, it's called Wiley Rock, mate, and uh, that, that is our that is the, the icing on our, our cake. That is the end of our journey over there. Look at this, what a beautiful beach. This confluence of waters, I guess I'd call it, with that beautiful little island out there. Well boys, uh, we're gonna get to climb that uh, nice big rock in front of us. Holy moly. Fantastic. Okay, seatbelt on, and I'm gonna have a crack at Wiley Rock. I have engaged my rear differential lock and my low range, and I'm just gonna slowly cruise up, turn off my little parking sensor, and start the climb. It's a steep rock, man. But the nice thing about it is there's buckets of traction. Low tire pressure is the key up here and <laughs> one eye on the view and one eye on where you need to go. Oh, wow. I don't even know what to say, this is bizarre. It's like a sand dune, but with, well, I guess it's a prehistoric sand dune, isn't it? A fossilized one. <sighs> What a country we live in. We're doing this is legal and almost encouraged. What a superb way to cap off an 
incredible run along the Great Australian Bight. And while the crawl up was a blast, the run down was every bit as awesome. Oh mate, um, it has been an absolute pleasure um, to have a proper football driver with uh, the knowledge that you've got on board um, and just a general bloody good bloke as well. So I hope this isn't the last trip. Absolutely. If you keep inviting me, I might still keep coming along.